welcome back to 5 Day Crypto. My name is Chase. Today is Friday, February 19th of 2021. And today we are going to talk about Stellar Lumens, also known as XLM. It is the current number 11 rank coin on coin market cap. Market cap of almost $11.5 billion. Currently just outside the top 10. Could proceed into the top 10 this weekend. And we'll show you why in just a moment. Currently 51 cents up about 2% over the past 24 hours, so still doing okay, slow grind up. We look for a higher move in the coming future. So let's go ahead and check it out. This is XLM on the daily. And as you can see, we've drawn some lines everywhere. So these levels mark the previous bodied candle all time high. This level, this level, see this? This is where the body's closed, and it was the highest level in previous, previously. All-time high, that's what ATH means, if you don't know. So after you break those all-time highs, you usually have a nice run-up, as you can see, demonstrated here. This is our next all-time high. Body's closing right here. Now, obviously, we see the wicks poking through. You can draw it from that as well. I've just chosen to draw from the bodies to show you an explanation of what I'm trying to get across. So after we get to the all-time high again, we continue the power move. So this is our next level to watch up here. And I'll show you where we could be headed if we break that in the immediate short term. But we also have these things called little trend channels, trend lines to follow. They don't have to follow these to the T. They can break inside and outside as you can see up here. That's in my opinion, these are called little bubbles. They can kind of form outside of it, like bubbles on a pizza. They're still pizza. It's still pizza, folks. It's just a little abnormal. This is still a trend. It's just formed a little pizza bubble, okay? So after you're, if you want to break out of a trend, either upside or the downside, you have to have clear and concise punch through and more importantly you have to have two daily candles close in the direction that you're looking at so as you can see here we break through we closed up here we close our next candle we tried to just keep going couldn't quite do it didn't have quite the momentum yet you see that long wick so but we did close our second candle up here and if you want to get picky you could say this is our first daily candle and this is our second daily candle but either way, we broke out of that trend line, and now we're in a new trend. And now, once you have a few, I usually like to use three touch points before you can consider it to be a trend line. As you can see after here, we have a trend line on top, and then really not one yet. We got maybe like one here, and then right here, now you have three touch points, and now you can draw your trend. So we've stayed in that pretty consistently, except for our pizza bubble. Coming back in to our trend, we're now holding this top, this bottom line as support. We want to continue to do that until we make our way back to our previous all-time high for the body close. Now our all-time high on XLM is just over 60 cents, but our body close is right here about 56 and a half cents. So not too far away. We're only a nickel away. This could happen quick. As you can see, XLM is capable of making crazy moves crazy fast. So we're going to watch for this in the next coming days. This is on the daily chart. So each of these candles is one day. So watch for these levels. Once we clear here, where could we go? If we were to measure these channels, what kind of move is this from the this all-time high back here to this body close up here? And from this body close here to this body close here? This is pretty cool. Watch this. What do you think these moves are? They look way different, right? Hmm, are they? Let's take a measure move. About 60, 65%. Okay. How big is this move? Looks way more than 65%. But is it? Wowzers. About 64, 65%. So, if past moves can help you, they don't have to repeat, but they often rhyme. 
those have mirrored quite perfectly. So if we want to get an idea of where our next 65% move would go if this pattern keeps repeating, let's take a measure move again. 65% gets us just shy of $1. Now, how long might that take to get there? Well, we can use that tool to measure again. So from our first big blow up right here to our next big blow up, 38 days, okay. So our next, if that continues, another 38 days and 65%. Okay, so we're looking at mid-March. That's only a month from now. To be right around a dollar. It doesn't have to take this long again. It's not like this plays out. We only have two data points. Usually, like trend lines, you want at least three data points or more. The more you have, the more solid of information it is. So we're just, we're just trying to have some fun here and see if we can point out anything that you might not have already known. So that's what I have for you on XLM. Nice little short, shorter video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. That is XLM. Watch for this over the weekend. If things get out of hand, maybe I'll do a live stream. Saturday, Sunday. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate your time. If you're new here, hit like and subscribe. I appreciate it. We're growing super fast. We're almost at 3,000. Who's going to be number 3,000? It might have already happened. I needed like 10 more when I started this video. What are we at now? Maybe when you're watching this, we have 3,000. If you were at number 3,000, you're a rock star. And the 3,000 before, the 2,999 beforehand. You're even more amazing. Screw 3,000. You guys are even better. The early guys are the best ones. I don't know what I'm saying. I just ramble. Happy Friday, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Stay classy, San Diego.